we we just want to express the authentic uh, essence of what we need to kubonga but tunakam kubonga in representation of whoever it is mwenye ana watch he had to follow the, uh, the conversation but tunajifind in an interesting place kabla hata tu introduce na nani we find ourselves at a place where we are looking at things and we are thinking allah life is not what we thought it was mm. yeah mm. kitu yenye umesema life had a science behind it behind it yeah but we never mm. identified, identified the, the science, science of behind. life yeah yeah so tuliko tuna flow mm. yeah until we can't flow anymore mm. until now we find ourselves at a place where tunaangalia tunashanga oh nini may happen mm. you get mm. so we are in a crisis and for me i'm looking at a crisis from this point of view i'm seeing as though this is such a huge uh canvas mm. for us to paint afresh mm. yeah and it's true yeah and, it's and true. a canvas that probably in our lifetime we will never get very true yeah it's actually <clears throat> It's actually like you have been given a chance. Ronile mm. Can yeah. anyone go back to his mother's womb? Eh, actually to be a chance to go back. To go back. Na tuanze all of us on an equal platform. Yes. Ina mean nini? Mm. Ju that being a truth. Mm. Si kila mtu anaona hiyo truth. Mm. Kuna watu so wanna get other truths mm. in quotes. Mm. Kuna watu so wanasema tume die. Eh hey, mm. covid may come then may isha mm. so hata sai wasa wana sawa hata does it even really matter kwa kama economy ta open ama ita open to share that mm. you get mm. there is that school of thought mm. how are you looking at it my 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 thinking ni yakua Many of us I think to make what to follow roja kuna this new word may introduce you ku trend mm. so to make what to run on the momentum of the trend uh-huh. not on the momentum of insight okay and the the power of something trending does not mean it is right or does not mean it will sustain that trend and that's why to make what to collect anything that is hot mm. so instead of us ku kwa news makers to end up kukua news readers what is trending you go and copy it this Not actually trending ni what they trending ni somebody ameanzisha kitu but atuja atujui profitability yake but yeah. it to truth ni very different when yeah. we talk of truth we are speaking about a body of knowledge a body not a single insight it means you are tall you are handsome not uh-huh. one but a body of knowledge consisting of so many principles leadership creativity personal health and development all these things coming together financial literacy and freedom so all these bodies coming together they form this class called truth and that class called truth is what now is able to sustain you through any season because truth is timeless and ageless Mm. it remains true it is timeless and age- ageless but trends at such shelf life yake is so little yeah that yeah. ayezi sustain itself for such a long time so ikitu tunaita trend for our generation ama for sisi saizi mm. i'm young and i'm still old but young and old is relative yeah what tunaita trend now is what somebody else has creatively spiced in his own using his own body of knowledge but no job the problem ni ametupatia the play but ame hide the pattern mm-hmm. so sisi tuna play but hatuna the pattern so ikiisha we keep going back kuuliza what's the na ni akuisha si ngoma hiyo isha si atoli kwa naambia mseni ngoma isha ngoma ni 4 minutes 8 minutes unaambia eh hey, ngoma isha itakuwa refu sana hey. so tunabaki na the play so we are ever looking for the play and that's why god alisema jesus alisema we are like children playing at the marketplace si tuko ni nini na trend mm. but what is the body of truth what is this body of truth that has been put together that controls everything that is exchanging at the market yeah. that is where we ought to be you are trend near short term recurrent uh, yes. pattern pattern yeah shelf life yake ni small small sana yeah and sometimes mtu anaweza kuwa caught up in a pattern ni ka fashion yeah yeah 
Sisi tu mwanza tumeona sasa hivi tunaanza kurudi zile vitu tulikuwa sure. tunadu kitabu tena tunaanza kuwa ah hey. imerudi tena. Mimi nimekuta na msee juzi ameva zile ma jacket za kina Lost Boys. Mapaf. Ah, Mapaf. Zilikashika mbaya. Back then ukata sometimes ngeka kuperform hizo tulikuwa na kuja na kifaa na timbere. Unakumka keisha ka hey, kitokea. Keisha ka kitokea we papa. Sasa hii imerudi tena. Sasa hii tunatafuta hizo jacket so. Tume, so today sasa tumepiga tumepiga squad tumeenda tumerudi. And that's the danger of are uh, being addicted to trends mm. because the shelf life of that trend when it dies down you will break down mm-hmm. you will break down because then it will be after something else in a trend na truth is timeless it's timeless it's truth true. is timeless and it's universal it's universal uh, so the truth about so when you learn that body communication skill these are important truths yeah. usi get gift yako alafu unasema ah nisha get gift people want my gift so you don't see the value of communication skills the value of creativity the value of leadership the value of negotiation these yeah. are timeless uh, truths the value of investment the value of freedom all these form the body of knowledge that we come to call truth yeah. that now controls everything that is happening in the market no masana so in such a time where we have such split uh, sentiments what what's your take of this situation from when it come mm. ju it's a black swan event mm. it's an event that we wouldn't have predicted and it's an event that we are not prepared at all mm. it's like an ambush It's not the first that has ever happened in history mm. but it's here. What what was your what was your state in terms of adapting to this new truth mm. or new reality? Reality. First and foremost and that is what calls for for leadership because what makes one a leader is that you become a master of chaos. And so as a person who has been leading for a while you have gone through chaos and a lot of chaos maybe not global pandemics but you've gone through chaos people are chaotic mm. <laughs> building a dream is chaotic growing anything is chaotic it's such a chaotic process it disrupts your time schedule True. uh building whatever you're building right now it has disrupted maybe you don't sleep the hours you used to sleep yeah. it has changed so much about you True. because and that and that's how success comes success introduces itself through chaos now if you know how to ride the chaos and you know how to to build in the chaos that's what i learned and so when this hit i had already been hit by so many various chaos in my life prior prior so, so i already know the principles to operate when chaos strike yeah. because the the ego is different from the other birds because it knows how to ride in the storm it's and built it's to ride built in. to ride in the storm so i already built within myself uh the infra and the infrastructure to be able to ride in storm so the chaos when it hit Okay it 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 first of all called for there are things you have to detach and there are things you have to let go yeah what we normally call normal and so a leader is always being challenged it is his normal life you wake up in the morning story yeah. kopoa next thing ni call me come and say yeah. this thing has failed you know nobody calls you things are working zii <laughs> zii or to tell you why at you as they say the calls you receive that kukwambia waze you are doing well Ah uh, very very but most ni of them tu. ni ni madako eh. uh, na maybe mtu huyu akombe daddy unaniletea eh. everything a leader is facing is always above above his budget above his current state of so he's ever responding to things that are trying to gain over him so mm. this uh being around has taught me to always anticipate chaos so why do you look for truth because you know life will always create storms Yeah. You don't even need to create it. It's Life true. will create storms. So and, if yeah. you're not building for the storm, you will be raised by the storm. And to a leader iki to sim pia. Ah. Leaders of epitia mambo bana. So ki chukulia from that point yeah. of us having established that you stand as a leader. Unaweza chukulia hiyo intro hapo. Mimi naitwa Eskay. Mimi naitwa Weli. I'm Willy Odendo, I'm a pastor and I'm also a life coach and an author. So and uh, it's a very good thing to connect with my friend here, uh, Mr. SK after many years I knew him in his pre-incarnations in, in other forms 
and now he has lost glasses, he has yeah. lost dreads, and now I'm getting glasses, and soon maybe he dreads and okay, quick. Ready, yeah. <laughs> but it's so nice for me to be here. This is a wonderful, wonderful place. This That's I've nice. always been watching the conversations you've been asking, having with Pastor Tom. Yes. And yes. Uh, uh, not Tom J. Yeah. And the ones you have at uh, the hotel. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. Pride in. So yes. I've always been watching the snippet, Full and I'm circle. saying, when I grow up, <laughs> when I grow up. Yeah. I'll be here and guess what? Yeah. It took a storm. Yeah, <laughs> there. Thanks to a storm. Thanks to a storm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we should be saying then happy corona. Happy corona. <laughs> happy corona. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's fantastic. Sana. Asante sana. Yeah. Yeah. The most interesting thing about yourself is is the different flavors of you mm. from your background. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. as I mentioned, these are these are different facets. Of a person mm. highlighting yours Mine. because this is something that we truly have to speak about. Yeah. Uh, let's want to come from a place of Kujua that a person has multiple expressions. Mm. God mm. has to create with a dynamism element inside of us. Mm. Mm. Nonetheless, you come from a singular mm. Uh, mm. expression. Mm. Now to stick now for the rest of our lives. Yeah. 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 So probably when Zari went back Kiasi. Kwanzaa place ya mzai, they come to, <laughs> to your different facets. My different facets. Because all these things are you. Yeah. Now, uh, my dad uh, did fund management for the longest time. He's an old man. My mom worked for the government, but she's more into church. She's a prayer warrior, intercessor, and all that. Yeah. Uh, my mom thought my brother would be the pastor because my brother is more more wired. I am. I am not a church boy. I'm not a church guy. Uh -huh. I came into the church. Actually, and maybe actually say maybe, okay, this is clean money. Let me just say, you know, Tupac died and I got born again. Mm -hmm. So so then I get into the church world. I start my journey and experiences. Uh, I get discipled. I grow into the thing. And then I went to do my first studies were in engineering. I yeah. did uh, construction engineering. Got Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. 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 <laughs> you know, to... Uh, and this is the power of mentorship because yeah. I never, you see, Tupac, I connected with him in such a deeper way yeah. that I even thought I would be a rapper. So yes. I shaved like him. I, my identity was built by him. Yeah. My nickname used to be Amaru. I wanted to name my, my, my son Amaru when mm -hmm. I was and, and then my wife really loved the name. And then I can Google famous people who are called Amaru. I could, you, are, you are a child to be like you. Yeah. <laughs> so I can change Jineake. So my son is called Harry. But that's very interesting. Yeah. I to fast forward up to Rudy Kopak. Yeah. <laughs> what about him? Yeah. <laughs> What about him? Oh, <laughs> Tupac. That's, that's a very interesting. You, you see, know, uh, there are many people who look at him from... The physical side. Actually, from different... The, the general uh, look at him as Msani. But there are many layers of... Mm, of Pak. Of, of Pak. Mm. That sometimes... Wase mm. wana kosa ku bite. Mm. Yeah. But to you, what was it? So that now we borrow it. Mm. And, and it will... And it will... And it will... Yeah. It will be to Pak. Leo ina toka zote. Clean money. What interested me about Tupac was his ability to give voice to various topics. He could give voice to mothers. He could give voice to men. That is people. He could give voice to the poor. Yeah. And his ability to, to take song and give it different voices. Yeah. Uh, dear Mama appreciating mothers. Me are more or less a mama's boy. And then I turned up gangster. Nani gangster. Mm -hmm. Nani hard. Uh, he could give voice to his community. Mm. Uh, Tag mansion. Yeah. Uh, uh, he could give a voice to... Uh, and then he, he was not timid about who he was. That was to say, I can take a punch. So he could also beef yeah. very well. Yeah. So yeah, the yeah, ability yeah. to beef and, and then give voice and the courage and the beef. courage to beef with people and the courage to give voice even to the uh, misnomers of the government of the day. Yeah. Uh, which was unpopular. Which was unpopular. Tupac died at twenty five and you know his and career is not more than six years. Yeah. Come to think of Come it now. Think of that. Twenty five yeah. years I'm a shikadunia mzima Kenya bila YouTube. 
pigeni mtu wa kofi bana no mjue Kenya bila YouTube bila Instagram akimba keep your head up uh, anaimbia single mothers yeah. and, uh, and 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 their ability alafu uh, kuna kuna ingoma yake aliimba na Danny Boy mm. eh, uh, and, 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 and I loved his ability to do that then akimba about his city so you don't always see that if, if, the, if I ever wanted to, to if I went to the states I would want to see California You see nowadays here Alikuselia California. California. He sold to me America. He sold to be that you want in in California to happen. Yeah. So I I had beef with New York because uh, nobody sang to me about New York. Nobody told me what is happening uh, in New York. So he had an ability to give voice to a myriad of topics and then looking at my life at that time I had no persona at my age who yeah. embodied success and influence at the same time. Yeah. And he embodied them. He embodied he took his voice, he built influence around it and then he he showed some levels of success. So he would Yeah. Uh, kuna interview moja ukisikia kina Snoop Dogg na kina Dre. Alimba Snoop Dogg na Dre na kuna yu Rich Rich. Mm. Rich Rich wa record uh, Do Jesus get to go to heaven. Mm. So Snoop anasema Rich Rich ameandika Do Jesus get to go to heaven. Rich alikuwa anapigia kila mtu buta eh sikii uko wapi kabu sikii ngoma yangu. Yaani ametoa ngoma moja. The work ethic of Tupac. Tupac could live in the studio. They say up to now he has probably about 1000 or 2000 and released at 25. Akambia rewe mse una ngoma moja mimi ndio celeb mimi ndio big nina ma albums mimi ndio star na niko studio akamwambia ingia hapa ndani tutoa ngoma wakatoa America's most wanted yeah. uh, kill a kill now that is the thing that drew me to Tupac and so i think my 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 greatest attraction yeah. is always to the ability of people who expand the scope mm. of what they do Yeah. And uh, and that really really drew me. So when he died it's like yeah. a, it's like I lost a father figure. I lost an identity a, a to look up to. A reference yeah. point was Wata taken to, away. To highlight. Number one, ni uh, to to wasewa ejetu. He was the simplified version of philosophy. Yes. Very true. Atiko to me get to philosophy. Atiko to me get philosophy ni India. And as I think yeah. 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 Poetry. Yeah. He embodied, he embodied poetry. poetry. Yeah. Alafu work ethic. Yeah. Alafu he was relatable. relatable. Like he, he brought it to me he, yeah. in a language that that really really made me uh, feel like this is an aspiration that I would I can do it. I can yeah. get there. Uh, the odds are always against the great. Yeah. So I can also take on the odds that are against me at that particular time. Yeah. I can handle rejection. You know those yeah. are things that nobody uh, could sing about them. Uh, It was all soft and and yeah. yet he gave me this hey you can handle rejection and and you can take it and he embodied those things and look at me Could he you died say that I that's, that's the point, point where you fell in love with thinking yeah that's the point that now opened me up to let me know that the the part of music that you hear is less than 1% of the, the thought process up. that inspired that music true and uh, as as just as we were having the conversation you say that uh, you see i'm a very artistic person and i celebrate art you remember that what no inviting to kwa church mla kama na tu gumburushi hapo daily mna tuna chacha and by the history to nika to meruka unaja to interject in the intro to interject in the two pack kumbuka hii thought what are you feeling shy yeah i know mambo you may to highlight your stuff true sir which is authentic yeah thought philosophy artistry yeah work ethic yeah yeah that that is too much for you na communication yeah. so to me eka to me check an element of what speaks to you to me yeah as a 20 something 25 and a daddy yeah i so uliko umliko mwingia tu mother so my mom at that time wanted a I think she I, I think she saw a preacher preacher and she thought man my one of my sons should be a preacher and now yeah. my brother is very very is 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 those people you call good is is good is those good people ana <laughs> mablanda no mistakes prefect no he, he doesn't have yeah ana mablanda me am a man of blunders yeah. because yeah chomi I'm those people who if you had a family meeting you'd hope I don't show up because yeah. you don't know whether I'll show up sober clean you don't know the state. Yeah. No my brother is the other side. No my mom prays oh god I think we should make one of mine a pastor because I don't know miaka zinaenda. 
I don't know whom she saw. I think it was in the house or somebody came to preach here. Mm -hmm. And now that's where I had my transformational experience. And my mom was always praying. Every weekend, I kulala. Lava jana zaza zingine uko na feel. Muna nda kulala. Muna itwa mombe. Muna feel manze ba that nona TV. And we never knew that uh, those prayers. Maybe because Tupac sang about the mother, mm. I, I could easily allow my mom to, yeah. to win me over. Oh, look, on a grace, for, on a grace for mothers. Yeah. She, I always had grace for her. But look, on a scary man, man, when I'm about to stand this situation, and then my dad introduced the policy. Uh, not much, uh, as much as going to the church, but he said, if you don't go to church on Sunday, you don't eat in the house. On Sundays, you have oh. to go to church. So you had to look for a church to go to. And that's how I landed uh, with, in Delhi. Mm. As a young cowboy, so I would go, and then you I would chukua you know, fly you know, for long. For long, na chukua fly na 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 na, na home na kanayo. But then, when Tupac now left, now Bishop J B, ah, that's so we are the Maliza. Akakua the the new voice. The new voice. Now him, he became clean man. <laughs> 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 what? You know, first of all, even even when you see how I've dressed and nini and nini, he removed the wildness. Ulianza kukula look vile ulianza kwenda kwa JB. Ah. Tumekula look for long, I say. <laughs> Polished. And then there is nobody whose level of intelligence I have met in my life that compares to him. Very smart. He's, he's extremely. You see, there are those, you know, there are people who say I am thinking, and then they come up with a solution, and you wonder, I don't get fikiria. Mm. You will have just told us before you think. But the moment, because uh, Umoja is a mega, 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 it's a massive church, and it's a very, those are very complex, it's a very complex structure. There's a school, there is this, and then he's the secretary general. So by proximity to him, now I began to see the complexity, the inner life and the inner workings of making systems work. Now he now was able to show me the science behind what happens to make anybody a public success. Mm -hmm. Juicy flux. Juicy flux. See flux. And then he has been at it now for over 40 years. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, I became addicted. Miss J. Kujatacha K. Across the I I never worshipped in any other church. Yeah. By the way, come to think of it, I'm quite okay. It's like it's like we are having wine and you're having water. Love to invite to get come in. Come in. I'm soda and you have going to it it became it became so addictive that even how uh, he he was able now to take away the wildness. Mm -hmm. He was able now to put in the value for the science. The question is, what are you doing? What are you thinking? You see, unakaga na msana kwambia, manze God ame ni show, hii ni season. Unasiko msana kwambia God ame ni show. Aja Na unangali, unanotiz, wea ka God ame kuongelesha. Awezi kwa vile uko wewe. Yani God ali bypass your mind, haka kwambia tu hivi, yani, hiyo process ya kuprocess what God ame kushow. He gave me what is called prophetic administration of what God has given me. Yeah. Your gift, your relationships, your talents, your education, that administrative ability. Mm -hmm. And this was for years. One church over 19 years. Joined in 92 up to 2011. Um, Google all your life. I've never seen another preacher. I would only go, I went to see Bendy Hinn because he was, in, he was the interpreter. And I went the night before. Eh. Nikala Lapa Nairobi University Kwa grau, Mimi, Jimmy, Nani, Maboizu wangu yeah. So that's, that's just how powerful And so I, I now started becoming addicted Packaging, everything Profiling uh, How, you, how you, 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 you present yourself How yeah. you give boundaries And all this And that has always been me And that has, that's how I've, I've been able to, to To trade in life by the skills I learned by observation and observing another. Yeah. And it's so uh, real. He taught me how to handle money, how to handle this, how to handle this. Yani, ilikuwa, ilikuwa natoka home, unenda kudunga hema chacho. Standard. Bila tatoka, apakgari, afungwe mlango, afunge. Uko. Una watch. 
mm. vile unafaa kutoka ufunge kwa gari ufunge ah, ni reference ni reference and that is something that is very yeah, important to success and it is the way uh, he cleaned me up he took me to school by the way he took me to he the one who paid for my he educated me so bible engineering school engineering by bible school, bible school. So, budangu nae sisi penye tumetoka men we bury professions we don't bury people we bury engineer amelala ibana wakili amelala sasa wewe anashanga tutasema evangelist hey. evangelist amelala <laughs> evangelist ni need hiyo hey. so i and then ilikuwa nakatia mama your time hey. mama alikuwa campus and you remember back in the days campus girls walikuwa yani dema kienda unajua sikizi unaenda nga kampo unakaa ni kawaida eh. back then ukienda kampo ilikuwa kwanza inaspikiwa kwa service na ni umecheza league ako hapa amenda university so many mkwe kama nani eh. so nika try round 1 akanikata niko na maybe the thing is na kani kama siwezi academically you know eh. you know if you didn't have certification ilikuwa inakauna future so eh. i went to engineering ndio ni shike um um dem nilisukuma engineering 3 years Allah. Dema king ya box nika pull out a Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> you have to drop out of something. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I walked out top of my class. I dropped out of uh, I left engineering school in the final year. Now this is not advice. This is my story. This is not advice. Yeah. But I was still doing now engineering and bible school and I was doing engineering and bible school I was also doing computer engineering all going to do once at the same time the same time so bible school in the evening uh, engineering during the day computer engineering mid morning so nilikuwa from that time my work ethic and appetite to now build what I'm calling that body of knowledge because yeah. I discovered hey uh, there are principles that dictate life because you see engineers and architects you you develop the design i just come with a desire yeah. and now you develop mm. something that expresses that desire in an artistic and still functional manner and so i i got into that i did computer engineering also where you know sukukaribu ni cheesy the demand the toil on my body was too much so bishop jb took me to school he would drop me home alikuwa mzae wako ni buda ni my father yani ile yani ile ki literally by literally yeah hata kudunga wewe ni yeye aya la kana cheki anakuambia msee your, your shoes you have to be clean you are representing a kingdom not your background literally so it, it was a You see now I wish I had somebody to tell me that because now by the time you're finding yourself in positions of leadership and influence and if you don't have that you don't know how to manage transition so I transitioned from engineering went to bible school graduated and just that interaction continued building me up so my mom I got saved got filled with the holy spirit moved on my dad on the other side is is him is is is, is he comes from a very academic we are yeah. very academic now my wife comes from your tribe yeah so to, when we want to marry now in akani kama so how will the back is then when these two tri- tribes wanted to come together it was always <laughs> chaotic yeah. so my wife is very uh she she used to be in moi i used to be at the technical university i would spend time at Nairobi university and it was just like that so This maybe brings about the the power of the journey mm. and to tell you that uh, and I want to maybe maybe as you're talking about Clinton you see the mistake about gifted people yeah. and when people are gifted yeah. they normally assume that their gift will make will make them remain relevant but mm. giftedness and relevance are not synonymous not the same what gives you longevity is your ability to remain relevant not gifted No. Na hiyo ndio kitu. Ebu 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 tu turudi hapo tena. Cuz at that particular point there, there are many people that try on gift. Yeah. Mm. Coming from a place of uh, first being a creative. The gift becomes such a big thing. Mm. You almost become your gift. Mm. Yeah. You become it. Which yeah. is which you're padlocked into this gift. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And you're trapped. And so many people um 
so many people speak about this uh, different in different levels of craft mm-hmm. so many people speak about uh, like there is a time they doing alikuwa anasema i have to break from being enslaved by my gift mm. yeah. very important and i get very important which is which is a very strange thing yeah. when you look at kila mtu anataka kukuomse then all of a sudden he's saying but i'm chained mm. yeah do you know one of the things that you learn never let your gift think for you mm-hmm. because your gift is always thinking performance yeah and it makes you a product yeah when i get that yeah. that's, that's a very, a, that's strange, a very strange, place. strange place to be yeah. and a very volatile place yeah. to be you you're no longer a person a person you're now a product you're now a product and what happens with products they have shelf lives they exactly. expire yeah yeah your gift and your genius are not the same thing yeah so i had to build my genius because my gift will always be there it's irrevocable yeah, I but i can. i cannot increase my gift but i can increase my genius by increasing my genius i can increase the scope and the portals of revenue yeah that that simple gift can have so you can have just a mere communication gift and that communication gift can go ahead and build an empire do you know steve jobs ran has built the biggest company in the world apple and he was not a tech guy he was actually, an arts guy actually there is a time people people were trying to criticize him and people kept asking by the udunin ud udunin and his answer was amazing because mm. they were looking and they're saying you're not a techie yeah. you're not then what do you <laughs> do eh udunin what do and akasema i play the orchestra mm. Uh, mm. i bring all these pieces uh, together eh uh, and that's 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 the beauty of it what did he discover with my genius you can build the thing but i can tell you whether it will function it will be relevant he was exactly. able to make science relevant yeah. not synchronize it synchronize it with life he came he brought brought so much disruption so that is the thing that i have, i would i would love for people to have and that's why when i saw you doing those golden circles i hope and i wish and pray that people would take them you see i use the word truth to call it a body of knowledge because when we say you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free yeah. see preaching See, see the bible hata. says you see, pre- see truth see your preaching it's the body of knowledge that is being dispensed yeah now that body of knowledge like now you have talked about Lil Wayne he has dispensed a body of knowledge mm. now to move from one level to another level in life you need a truth now unfortunately you can change classes at any matter form 2 and form 3 yeah. but that is not how it is in life because up even in life how do you change Mm-hmm. to move from one place to another the body of knowledge that is required is immense to just move one level but the freedom of that body is so much now you discover that now if you don't have mentors if you're not exposed to circles like that yeah the information you share in your breakfast maybe for two hours mm. could be a summary of maybe 26 books is true or summary of 20 years or 20 years there are things you've mm. done umechomeka there is something we are talking about to kitembea na kuambia you've got and re- go, you've got and this right what you're stuffing you've got and right i had a b c d and yeah. i had to i had to i knew psh, to psh, look at it look at it now somebody else utamwona ameanzisha ka hustle kake ana feel manza amechukua ma boys manini manini wewe una check una una feel kumsho bro kama ni biz unafanya ah mimi na but i see take your wisdom because i feel at the moment to kof tuna flow when things are working you become blind but you know you don't build for things are working you build for when things will not be working will yeah. these people will this uh, culture be able to remain uh, to be working so it, it is one of those things that i hope and pray that was one as a plug in yeah ebu bonga about art and science mm. the correlation between art and, and as well the divergence mm. between art and science mm. and how art has a place Mm. but you then have to cross over to the science yeah well well art is just compressed science in a manner that is consumable but you don't become an empire by building consumers mm-hmm. empires are built by building producers science on the other side builds 
and works with the principle that control life because life is controlled by principles yeah. and uh, the principles set the patterns so yes. when you know the principle you know the pattern now what does the pattern give you prediction yes now if you know the science you can be able to predict now the art on the other side will be able now to package this in a manner that will be consumed by masses because art brings the feel of what you're doing the mm -hmm. feel and that feel is that it makes it now consumable to the yeah. masses it makes it now digestible like it cooks the maize or the meat it cooks it for you so that the people can eat it now if you don't switch to the science then you are not playing at the place of the producer you're playing at the part of the consumer now what happened you will always be at the mercy of the people who know the science of the thing because they know the principle they know the pattern they know the prediction so i can look at you and know your next choice is there and what happens with people who live on art, they don't know how to transition. But people who live on science, they can predict and see it's time to change. And you see, art is the, is the essence of creating something unpredictable. Unpredictable. Because unpredictable is fresh. It's fresh. Yeah. yeah. But sir, ni kama joke. Mm. Eh, joke. Awezi irudia. It's freshness. Yeah, it's very chef like, like kidogo. Ni it's ni a feel. Na I feel too hapo, mm. ni cheke hapo. Na then all of a sudden, you know, in Imeisha, as art arouses the senses, and when that sense is aroused, and uh, there's something I'm, I'm, I'm working on, uh, I've called it rules of money. Uh, and one of the rules that, that maybe I'll talk about, maybe I can, can I share it now? Yeah. One of the rules I'm saying is that money is made scientifically, or money is made intellectually, but it is spent emotionally. Now, people who know the science, they've built the intellectual body and then they fuse the emotional uh, feel that will make you spend on it. Mm -hmm. So, when you are on the art side and you don't have the science, you're going to be on this side mm -hmm. that is controlled. Actually, when you go out of order. <laughs> yeah. You go completely yeah. out of order. Yeah. Because you're coming into a controlled environment. environment. Yeah. With an an uncontrolled lili yeah, state, state of mind so we come up unaanza ku so when you're spending all spending is emotional the clothes you, they are functional but yeah. all spending is it's emotional. emotional it's true but what dictates the spending is thinking the thought process yeah. wasana feel mm. Men say wana taka kukaa hivi. Yeah. Like like somebody atakuja apige hii happy socks. Eh yeah, apige look. Hii shot ya happy socks hapa yeah. sema ah sahi CST sahi ni time ya sahi ni matweke ya say my happy socks. Now who came up with this idea? How much has he made? But he has created an emotion now that when when you have a happy socks uko in trend, uko in tune. So we we go and spend on that. But you know what? Sahi is still in the lab changing. But guess what? You can be the person who do, you don't need to wait for him to do the intellectual. You can do it and now come into the market and compete with him. It's one of the rules I've written on the rules of money. They are 10. What's interesting to me when you say that is economics is human behavior. Yes. And how it, it affects demand and supply. supply. And you mentioned that humans spend on emotion. Mm. And that's so true because the interesting part is that they can actually their emotions can be manipulated yes yeah either yes. into greed or into, or into fear fail. yeah 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 true yeah. true 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 so you can inject greed mm. into a person yeah i'm going inject fear mm. and either way they'll, and they'll, spend. they'll spend whichever yeah. the case yeah. once you you see i tell people emotions is like water it can take the state of the environment yes, you put it yes. hot it will boil 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 boil, boil, boil and then evaporate then in afuko kujira patoku ni cold in a solidify na kwaka cloud it yeah. gets low and and that's what you're that's what you're putting you yes. can induce an emotion of fear they'll spend they'll spend you induce greed they'll spend yeah whichever the case once you induce the emotion so whoever controls the emotional capital yes. controls the spending in the market so how do you then transition from an artistic point of to thought a, mm. Ndio hata tuongelesha hata wasanii. Ndio kwa wasanii wana need. Wana need. Ndio ataubia. We need them. Mm. 
I I I was listening to Julian. Mm. Pastor Rev. Rev Julian, yeah. Julian is so, a good guy. And he said something and he said there is no government in the world that mm. will dedicate its resources to make creatives wealthy. Mm. Never. Alisema tuna kapita but aliniacha hapo. Cuz that's so profound. Mm. Ebutu yan park. Mm. Unaweza yan park aje. What should happen first of all the artist should know that as his art he is being consumed yeah it's either building an economy or it's building a euphoria about him the 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 popularity rush will sometimes make you don't focus on the roi the value and the shelf life of your art mm-hmm. the transition must that must happen is and it's like and, and i know it will be painful is you have to die yeah you have to die and it's biblical yeah unless a grain falls into the ground and dies yeah. it abides alone yeah you have to die and the dying process is you have to unlearn you have to unlearn one of the mistakes artists do is that they teach themselves mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they teach themselves even on andika hit song even on afanya nini even on afanya nini and now what happens in the season when art is working mnadu nini wasani wanapiga shere mmm do imeingia umepigwa ka 1000 dollar umepigwa 100k piga shere then what unaka mm-hmm. unajiita brand but that's not a brand mm-hmm. that's not a brand your music is not a brand z your music is not a brand it's an expression but it's not a brand mm-hmm. you you begin to uh teach yourself and then you begin to tell yourself that because i am loved i am significant these are the oh, assumptions so i think so you think that because you are loved society cannot go on uh, yeah. without no, no, you love ni love love ni see ni yeah ni your love, love. Yeah. yeah it's not tangible it's not quantifiable mm. in the same same market that you are playing somebody else is doing a different trajectory and the trajectory is this my music can give me visibility or an audience mm-hmm. This audience that my music has given me I must be able to contain them. Do you know they let me use the uh, Jews. Yeah. They say Jews spent their money circulates amongst them about 26 times. Yeah. Amongst them. So that means their audience kabla yende kwa another community. That audience so in this place of audience how much of you are we consuming apart from your music? Mm-hmm. how many lives are you putting in and so if you don't unlearn you will find that you will have to again come back to the market with the same material but guess what leo tatoa ngoma uonge juu ya bangi because yeah. i bangi watu wanaimba sana yeah. ah ndio nime hit si kesho pia sikia taimba juu ya bangi so what came as a surprise tomorrow it will be flooded Now whatever we paid you when you broke ground in three weeks because art is very easy to duplicate. Yeah. But science is original and authentic, very complex to duplicate. It is coded and that is why I say they have to find another school of thought. And they cannot find it in the industry. They have to open up because that transition is a death. They have to think I am this is art. I have to do business. Yani hivyo tu ndio kuku. I have to do business. Art is not business. Art is an expression. The business is science. What are the processes that I'm putting behind my art? Predictable processes. Predictable processes that I'm putting behind my art that has got some levels of prudence. Mm-hmm. So that this is on nimependwa ama this is on what I consume. I don't develop habits that are more expensive mm-hmm. than the craft or the stage of my art okay. and that is why artists in the whole in the whole thing we develop emotion our our and, and the lie is always this 
utaitwa show utaitwa hii utaitwa hii so una charge simu una charge wewe tu uko hapo unaona una buy the new iPhone sijui ni 210 thou mm. and maybe they came to you mwambie by the way here we can advise you hiyo yeah. tu si miko na iko sawa chukua 150k yeah. buy shares za nini yeah. ama weka kwa hii ama weka hapa eh igro igro aise because ana feel eh na kwa naenda ku negotiate niweke hapa hivi on Tokyo ni simu hey. fulani tu <laughs> yeah, hey. but tunamwambia it doesn't matter penye wewe uko saizi au ja build enough channels that can sustain whatever you are doing mm-hmm. akikama kanao mwambie by the way bro acha nikwambie panda matatu for now hey. kubali panda ma3 bana jiki say when you are in that season of art you are so loved you are you feel as if you are invincible so they should do that they, you, they will try lobby government for more pay and more pay and more pay but if they don't build infrastructures amongst themselves as an artist mm. and transition out to become a business i was talking to an artist there are some artists that i meant and i told them the place that control art do you know them Mm-hmm. He said no my music in Kabya do you know do you know art has a legal arm mm. has an accounting arm intellectual property the the IP uh, uh, so I told him the five art has a tech arm yeah. and how much of this have you learned ama everything you're outsourcing and imeenda kuna nani hata niduia kuna nani hata niduia because whatever you don't seek to understand then that's where you're going to get played